Hello and welcome to another one of my MicroTik tutorials. My name is Steve OC and in this tutorial we are going to go over how to set up something basic like DNS in your router and then we're going to go on and we're going to look at DNS caching and then importantly making it secure. So we're going to dive straight in and we're going to go straight into Winbox and we're going to go for IP and DNS. Now at the moment you'll see that I already have a DNS server set in here so what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove that, hit apply, and then we're just going to try pinging the internet, which works, and then we're going to try pinging bbc.co.uk, which it can't resolve. That's because it has no DNS uh, server to go to to resolve the host name from. So I'm going to put that IP address back in. Uh, you will notice this isn't a public IP address. This is my actual main router, uh, which is currently DNS caching for my home network. So I'm going to hit apply. And then we're going to ping BBC again. And it works. So that's good stuff. So we have a working DNS. Now the next step we want to do is we actually want to make this usable for everybody else on the network. So it is simply clicking allow remote requests. You don't really need to mess with any other settings. This maximum queries and maximum concurrent sessions you can leave alone as standard as well as the cache size. You would only really increase these or mess about with these if you have kind of like a small to medium size ISP or you have a, a fairly large extensive corporate network. But for most users you just want to leave these alone and hit apply. So that's great. So now we can use any any computer on the network point it at this router and it will start caching you can see this you open up the cache just here uh, and it's got all my bbc stuff so if i ping something like steveoc.co.uk for example uh, there it is pinging and it's also just resolved my steveoc website so that's great so it knows what it's doing um the next step we want to come to really because we've jumped two parts of the video now both adding DNS and caching DNS um, we want to make this secure so uh, the way that we secure it is through the firewall um, usually your router will have a lot more firewall rules this is just a, an internal router I'm using to, to demonstrate um, but what you will ultimately have is a WAN interface whether this is an Ethernet port or a PPP port or whatever so it's simple enough, you just want to make a couple of firewall rules which are going to be input rules. Um, DNS usually works over UDP but just for good measure we set up TCP and UDP. And then the interface you want to be your WAN. Um, I'm just going to use one of the VLANs just for the for purpose of example. So input UDP 53, WAN interface, action, uh, and we're going to drop it. So we're going to hit in fact, we're going to put a comment on there and we're going to call it drop DNS because that helps when you're trying to pick out what rule does what. And then we're just going to copy it and we're going to throw a TCP one in there as well. So that's now secure from the outside world. So you have a router. It can resolve DNS stuff. You can point stuff at it and it will resolve for those client devices. And the internet cannot use your router to resolve things. The final thing that you may want to do with this router now is actually hand this DNS server out which you've just created to your DHCP clients. Now I don't have a DHCP uh, server set up on this router so I'm just going to hop into another router which I have available to me. Okay so this is my main home router if you like. Uh, and the DHCP server on here, you'll see in the networks tab, so DHCP servers networks tab, um, we can click into the guests and you can see in the DNS servers, I'm handing it out as the DNS server. So any DHCP client now which connects and gets given an IP address automatically will also get pointed at this router so that it, it can resolve the uh, DNS names. Very handy if you've got a fairly busy network and you've got a lot of people using it. It can cut time down. Uh, it's also nice to keep it in-house. Um, you will also notice that in the DNS settings there is a static option. So you can add your own static host names if that's something that you want to do. So, for example, if we put in dns.ping.net and we tell it that actually that's Google's DNS. Um, just for purpose of example here, so we're going to go ping dns.p 
ping.net. What a cool name. Uh, there we go. It resolves straight over to your quad eights. Uh, and that's it. So th that's how to make a DNS uh, DNS work on your Microsoft router OS device, how to cache the DNS, how to hand it out to other devices, and importantly, to make it so that no one else out of your network can use it. Uh, if you have any questions or you want to make any comments at all, please feel free to do that in the comments box below. Otherwise, uh, I would very much appreciate a like and a, su and a subscribe if you, if you feel really spicy. Um, for more Microtech tutorials, whether they're written or video, please head over to my website, www.steveoc.co.uk, and check out my YouTube channel playlists. Okay, thank you.